We approached the temples of Karnak through an avenue of ram-headed sphinxes, then through the first pylon. Everything in Karnak is on a massive scale. Its temple, called Ammon, is the largest religious building ever built. Wandering through this gigantic complex is one of the highlights of any visit to Egypt. That's why over a hundred tour buses unload their cargo here every day. Karnak is not just a temple. It's a complex of pylons, kiosks, obelisks, and sanctuaries that occupies a square mile of land. Over a period of 1,500 years, the site has undergone additions, dismantlings, enlargements, and modifications. Karnak was the most important place of worship in Egypt during the New Kingdom. Almost every pharaoh left his or her mark here. I'm sure it takes several visits to make sense of this overwhelming jumble of ancient remains. This is the great hypostyle hall with a forest of 130 gigantic stone pillars and it occupies an area large enough to house both Rome's St. Peter's and London's St. Paul's cathedrals. I think I heard it right, that there are 400 tourist ships that travel the Nile. So it is very similar to, or similar, to Hebrew, Aramaic, several Arabic languages, because Arabia, every tribe used to have its own language. Hello! 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 Lady! Oh, Lady! One minute, one minute, one minute! Hello! Hey, look at this! My friend! Excuse me! Excuse me! Hey, can't see this one! My friend! Hello! Hey, look this one! Excuse me! My friend! Hey, look this one! Hey, look this one! It's a tablecloth with eight napkins. Ready. Free. <laughs> okay, coming back. Coming back. Oh, lady, yeah, yeah. One minute, one minute, one minute. One minute. One minute. Hello. Here it comes. Hello. Okay, lady. Okay, look, this gonna be a for you. Excuse me, hello. Oh, you. No, I don't want to grab a beer. No, I don't want to. Oh, it went in the water. No, no, no. One a minute. All right. And then they're like, we want our stuff back. Yeah, really. We're about to get in the lock, and I was like, 
I had to try to put the tablecloth back in. And so I just crumpled it up and chucked it over. And the whole thing opened. Oh. <laughs> that she fain puts fear. <laughs> the Temple of Horus at Edfu is located on high ground, so it escaped flooding from the Nile. It is the most completely preserved Egyptian temple. Its reliefs have provided us with much valuable information. So they were ready to accept it uh, from the beginning. Politically, they were suffering from the Romans because they were Egyptians and they were under occupation. Okay. When Christ killed the hippopotamus, why the hippopotamus? No, no, no. We said the evil deities, they took the shapes of what? Huh? Crocodiles. But not. The pigs. And. The hippopotami. Can you see that the wall is inclining? Mm -hmm. It is not in the right angle. That's how always the outside walls of the ancient Egyptian <coughs> temples were built, inclining to the inside. I this was one of the last attempts by the ancients to build on a massive scale. This is the outer hypostyle hall with 12 huge columns. And this is the inner hypostyle hall with another 12 massive columns. There are interesting rooms to explore off to the side. 